Hey there, so if you have a hard time finding vocal samples that fit just right in production, I'm going to show you how to create your own high quality and unique vocal samples by simply just typing in the words you want. Yes, simply typing it in. Now it's pretty easy and I'm going to show you how to do it with just five steps, okay? In just five steps, you see how to create your own unique vocal samples, whether it's in FL Studio, Logic Pro, any dub, I'll be using FL Studio because that is my software, okay? So this software I'm about to show you is called Synthesizer V Studio. It does come as a standalone and as a plugin and I'll be using the plugin version. Now this software can actually do a lot more than creating just vocal samples. But for a context of this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to use it to create our own unique vocal samples, all right? First thing first, you want to load up on your channel rack, okay? We have it on our channel rack right here. Um, just load it up and then it's going to appear like this. It may come smaller, but you can resize from the bottom right here. This um, corner, you can see right here, you can just simply resize to any um, to fit your desired size on your screen. So the next thing you want to do is you can use a mouse to click the notes in. For example, if I double click this, make sure this um, cursor tool is selected. If I just double click, you can see it does come here and I can simply just extend it anyhow I like. But while that works, um, we prefer to use MIDI. You can, yes, you can use MIDI or MIDI controller, okay? Because it's going to be a bit faster for me, okay? So I'm going to just close this and why this software is so good is that it works with your play cursor. Like it's always going to know where the play and pause is, unlike some other softwares that are kind of detached from FL Studio. So I'm just going to start from my um, verse. First of all, this is how the beat sounds. So I'm just going to create some nice vocal samples in the verse. Then I'm just going to come to this place right here. That is where my verse starts from. Then in the software, just it's going to have an unnamed track or an empty track, and you can add multiple tracks by just right clicking, create a new track. Okay. But let's use the um, unnamed or empty track. All right. Then you want to click the record on this um, timeline right here. Just tap on it. You see it appear. Click on it. And then when you press play, I'm just going to do a test course. So I test recording, I mean, and you see it appear. So you, so you can see that it appears. Okay. So I'm going to take this out just to do it properly. All right. So let's create a simple melody. Now, most vocal samples are quite simple. So you don't want to play complicated notes unless you have something interesting in mind okay but just keep it simple for a start That's fine. Um, you can actually quantize it. I like to use the snap to grid, then just click OK. So it's going to snap to grid. And when I press play, this is what how it sound like. All right. So now we can now start typing in words. Okay, let me make this bigger. So I can come in here, just double click on the notes. And then just type any word really if i type love and then make sure you select a voice click the drop down there are three vocal types in here right now kevin natalie and ninzero hope i'm pronouncing these names correctly but i prefer to use a female voice because most beats or most beats i like to make i like having that female voice in there so let's hear it sounds love, love, love. So you can hear love comes in here. Let me take it forward a bit. Love, 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 
Now, let's play with it. So I want my vocal samples to be more voiced because most vocal samples are voiced either way. So I'm just going to type in, let's say, O A E I O U, right? If you're familiar with voiles, English voiles. So. so just. You can just copy the word, so I just keep pasting it, and you can extend this to stay longer. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. And you can move it around still, if maybe you're not happy with where it's positioned. So let's try A there. Ooh, ooh. A. Then I want the ooh ooh to, to appear again. Ooh, ooh, a la. Move it forward. So I just double click it, paste my oohs again. Then stretch it out. Then paste my oohs again. Then it could be anything really. Stretch this out a bit more. That's nice. So then let's see what comes next. So let's change it from ooze. Now let's use um. Then let's mix it up and see how it sounds. Let's use just M and C. Okay, it's M. So use your single M's here. And then single, let's see that O's and C. It sounds better if it's more with the M's. Then do the same thing right here. So you can see it's really fun to use. You just create as you go, like type in, like I said, anything you want. What you can also do with this software or this plugin is you can actually play with the modulation to make it sound even more authentic. Like for example, this part right here sounds a little bit off. So it sounds like it dipped a little bit in the big in the um towards this foil right here. So I'm just going to click this pen tool, okay? Click the pen tool, then zoom in, and then click this automation icon. I could just draw, draw it out. So let's see how it sounds now. So you can see that sounds a lot better compared to um, how it was before. Now, how do we get this out from this um, software into FL Studio properly as an audio file? You could leave this as a plugin if you want to, that works. But let's see how we can take this out as um, an audio file. So we're going to come back to our verse and then just link this plugin to our empty inserts on your channel. You can see it's linked now on the channel. Then just load up Edison. So when you load up Edison, just click on play. Then as soon as I hit record, it's going to start recording. La. Ooh, ooh. Hey. So 
okay with that hit pause then just drag and drop to where it started from and you can just simply turn off or you can even delete the software if you want to but let's just you know turn it off so this first one you know it's not part of it this is where we start working on So let's have it repeat. So we just split this up. So now we can add effects to make it even more interesting. Let's assume you're not know, okay with this. So you can just link the exported clip or the rendered clip, and then you can add effects like radio um voice effects with fl studios stock eq so i can just click radio for example and i can add like reverb let's see how it sounds in the verse You can even try to pitch it up to get maybe more of that baby child voice, chimp monk style. So you can see just like that we've created our own unique vocal sample and the good thing with this software like i said you can type in literally anything and your vocal samples will always be unique to you and your production so if you found this helpful remember you can get the software by clicking the link in the description and you can get the software and try it out on your own productions as well i remember your class if you found this helpful hit the like button and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll do my best to respond see you soon cheers